they pronounce pizza as a beets? Like, like, like the vex, a beet, like the vegetable. A beet? Today, we're going to Connecticut, more specifically, New Haven, Connecticut, where we're going to be trying Frank Pepe's white clam pizza. I know, I know, I know that sounds a little weird, especially for people who don't like clams or oysters just in general. Try it. Please, try it. Try everything at least once. For all the people that are just sitting out there thinking to yourself, I'm an adult and I eat chicky nuggies and buttered noodles. You're not an adult, stop telling yourself that. Comment below if you tried this recipe, tell me how it turns out, and let me know if you've tried any of the other recipes. But for now, let's get cooking. Now, I know what you're thinking. Dan, you're saying clams plus pizza equals good? Well, with a homemade dough, some good quality clams, and pecorino cheese, we really are set up to make something at least interesting, but also quite good. So, if you're curious to see what happens, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe, and stick around to see the rest of the video. But for now, let's get going. First step for any pizza is making the dough. We're gonna start off with 292 grams of water, five grams instant yeast, 10 grams of sugar, 12 grams of olive oil, and 450 grams of a high protein flour. Mix the dough with your hands until it starts to come together. This is a high hydration dough, so it's gonna to stick to your fingers a little bit while you're mixing it. But don't worry about it, just keep mixing. It'll come off of your fingers, occasionally pick it off of your fingers, but you'll be just fine. Cover it with a damp paper towel and let it sit for 30 minutes at room temperature to rest. After it's done resting, remove your wet paper towel and add 10 grams of salt. Fold the salt in and keep kneading the dough until it becomes easier to handle and smooth. Portion it out into four equal sized pieces and roll them up into the wall. We're gonna need four different Tupperware for this. In each of your Tupperware, you're gonna apply some oil. I'm using the spray olive oil for this. And then we're gonna put our dough ball in each of our Tupperware. The oil in the Tupperware is gonna keep the dough moist and keep it from drying out in the fridge. Once we have all these, we're going to keep them in the fridge for at minimum 24 hours or for up to a week. Now, before we continue with this recipe, let's get into a brief history of Frank Pepe and the white clam pizza. From the foothills of Maori, Italy, came a man named Frank Pepe. Frank Pepe immigrated to America in 1909 as a teenager. He wasn't here for too long before he went back to Italy to fight in World War I. When he returned from the war, he worked at a bakery in Wooster Street, where he started making his version of pizza, or as he pronounced it, a beets. He would sell his tomato pies on the street by the slice until he had enough money to buy a wagon and sell his pizza from the wagon. In June of 1925, Frank bought the bakery he worked at and labeled it Frank Pepe Pizzeria Napoletana. As for the development of his pizza, the basis for an excellent pizza is the crust. He chose to use a wetter dough that takes longer to ferment, which the current restaurants use to this day. He developed this crust by learning from the years of working for the bakery. Another key to this pizza in particular are the clams. The clams are harvested from the Long Island Sound. This is a marine sound and tidal estuary that stretches from Connecticut to New York. The clam pizza became nearly an instant hit, attracting people from around Connecticut, but around the U.S. as well, to come and try this pizza. Multiple articles and accolades were formed for this pizza, something that is unexpected for such an odd-sounding pizza. But I guess we'll have to try it ourselves to really see the hype. My home oven can't emulate Pepe's nearly 100-year-old coal oven, but we can still do our best to make it at home. But this was only a brief history of Frank Pepe and the white clam pizza. Now, let's get back to the recipe.
Now it's time to shuck our clams. What I have here is one pound of little neck clams. This is a hard shell. You can shuck them yourself or you can ask someone else to shuck them. For this process, you're gonna need a small knife that's sharp on one edge and flat on the other so you can wrap your hands around. Starting at the hinge of the clam, you're gonna put some pressure on that knife. Keep applying pressure until you can get the blade in between the two halves of the shell. Do not cut all the way through. We do not want to cut the muscle that's inside. Once our knife has got in between the two halves of the shell, we're going to get in just a little bit more and then I'm going to twist the blade to force it open. Once we have this open, you can actually use your fingers from here on out. And there is our muscle. That is the meat that we're going to be putting on the pizza. This is what the clam actually is. The little muscle that has taken the two halves of this shell and clamped it together. To extract this little guy, I'm just going to take my knife, scoop out on one side, scoop it into the other shell. Then I'm going to scoop it into this bowl that I have surrounded by ice. Repeat this with all of your other clams, making sure not to cut yourself. Be safe, guys. Once all of our clams are thoroughly shot, we can construct our pizza. On a lightly floured surface, place your dough ball and dust a little bit more flour on the top. I'm going to begin by just pressing this, moving the edges outward. We're going to keep doing this until we get a roughly 12 inch in diameter pizza. Move that dough to a lightly dusted pizza peel. And we're going to construct this on the peel. First, we're going to apply a little drizzle of olive oil, some diced garlic, the clams, pecorino cheese mixed with oregano and black pepper, and there we have it. The rest of our pizza is ready to go into the oven. Bring your oven to its highest temperature. For most ovens, it's 550 degrees. Then we're gonna take our pizza stone on our top rack. I'm moving it to the second to the top level just because I don't want it too close to the broiler. And we're gonna let it heat up for an hour. We want that stone piping hot. Once it is ready, we're gonna apply our pizza and let it sit in the oven for eight minutes. After that eight minutes, that's it. Our pizza is ready. Just look at that golden crust, the melted cheese on top. The aroma filling up the kitchen right now is really something else. This is a pizza I cannot wait to try. Welcome back. I am so pleased with how this pizza came out. I mean, just look at it. Look at it. And also, like, it's so crisp. Look, I'm picking it up as itself. Listen, it's so crispy, and I'm so ready to get into this, so... Let's not waste any time. Let's get into this. This is so good. I was not expecting how good it was because you know, I, I think of seafood and I always think of don't put dairy with seafood, don't put cheese with seafood, pecorino cheese, the black pepper, olive oil, and garlic, and that crust, man, that crust. Make this pizza crust. Even if you don't make this kind of pizza, make this crust. Make it like on Monday and then you'll be ready for Friday night pizza with your family. It's going to be an awesome time. You'll have a fun time and it's fantastic. It's delicious. This pizza holds up so well. The crust, it's not greasy or damp at all. It's nice, it feels sturdy in the hand. I can fold it, so I, I always love folding my pizza slices whenever I eat them, and it still feels nice and sturdy. And it's just, uh, it is, I can't sing its praises enough. So please go try this recipe, try out the white clam pizza, and tell me what you think about it. But until next time, see you later.